Hello YouTubers, this is Maya. I am podcasting out of the UK and this is just going to be a very short video again, just a catch-up video and I have not much to say, just a few ramblings. It is, today is, let me think, what is today? When Wednesday? When, uh, Wednesday. What's happening to my voice? <laughs> Why am I speaking so silly? I think Wednesday, it's the 31st, so end of January. And we have hail. It is not sleet, it is definitely hail. Because sleet is softer than what is falling onto the deck. And it is miserably cold. But I have also just spoken with James. He's in Spain currently. And he says they're having thunderstorms and wind and lots of floods and there's mayhem in Spain as well. So I suppose, oh, pardon me, there was a hiccup. I suppose all in all, I'm quite lucky here. The three dogs are curled up onto the sofa and sleeping. So if you hear any snoring noises, it's coming from them. And, well, today is the day where the boiler man is coming round. Hopefully, he says still between, what he said, between midday and 6 p.m. So noon and 6 p.m. Well, it's now already 3 o'clock. He hasn't turned up yet, so I've got three hours more to wait. I'm hoping it's going to be rather sooner than later. Um... As you know, I've had me, <coughs> I've had problems with the hot water supply. It was going off and on and off and on. And now it's sort of hardly on at all. I mean, you can time it. It's 10 seconds hot, then another three seconds lukewarm, and then it's off. That's it. So not ideal for washing long hair. And as... Some of you know my hair goes now, reaches down to my bottom. Um, and it takes forever to dry in these weather conditions. So I do not want to also have to have a cold shower. No, thank you very much. The past few times I've been boiling water in the kettle and then taking it to wash hair. But you can't do... Oh, that's... <laughs> Okay, you heard that noise. Unfortunately, that was not the boiler man. That was just Amazon bringing a package for neighbours. I'm the local postman, as you know, as well. Everyone just delivers their packages here and, and neighbours collect them of mine because they know I'm here most of the time. <sighs> it's been one of those days. Can you tell? Yeah, I think you can tell. Let's get on with some positive stuff. I have only one finished object this week and that is the Lumnit Brioche hat. Lumnit Brioche hat. Um, you won't be seeing this again. This is a gift. Um, so finish that if you want the tutorial. It's also here on YouTube. Go under My Crafts and it will be listed there in, what you call it? Well, you know, in the folder. <laughs> I can't even think what it's called now. Um, yes, and if you want to see more photos of it, they're on my Ravelry as well. Then, I'm still, then I've still got two works in progress. That is still my leggings, but I've done a few more rows, a few more rows, plain knit, and yes, they're going to be wide, and that's exactly what I wanted. What do you call them? Chulots are the short sort of trousers, but I want them longer, so super maxi legs, um, I think that's the way I will go. Yeah, down to the bottom, and then I think I'm going to do um, a nice edging round. 
haven't thought of what exactly. I might crochet it, I might knit it, not sure yet. And then I did start that project short cap sleeve. Yeah, that's it, where you crochet sideways. Well, the last few days I haven't been knitting or crocheting a lot. I've been very busy, so um, I've only had... Uh, maximum a couple of hours the last few days in total so that's as far as I got that's the front piece and so that's going to go sort of like this and then the straps and then the back so and then there's still an edging to go on here then around the sleeves uh, around around the sleeves and I'm not sure um, whether I'm going to do actually cap sleeves or whether I'm going to just do a wide and like a square and then do a nice crochet border around all edges I'm not sure yet but um it's the first time that I'm using this yarn I just want to mention that and it's called the wash and wear crepe from Siddhar it feels actually lovely it feels like almost like a cotton but a soft cotton it works wonderfully so I'm looking forward to wearing this I wonder what it's going to be like once it's washed I think it will have a lovely drape because it feels super it doesn't feel soft right now in the crochet in the ball it's sort of halfway there it's not, not scratchy or anything but you know not not squishy like baby baby yarn um, but I think it might do once it's been washed so that's all I have but I didn't want to leave you guys without any news whatsoever um, there's always things in the pipeline of me I'm always noting down things always doing things um, that I want to do next and Excuse that noise. That's Shia now. She's decided she wants to. She wants her dinner. <laughs> so that's what that noise is down there. I hope you can't hear it, because for me it sounds like, I don't know, like a pig in a trough or something like that. Anyway, let's just ignore it and just keep on talking. What else has been happening this week? It's Wednesday. Monday was crazy silly as well. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to mention to you that I think there's only a few more days left on Etsy if you want to purchase Mia or Kate, the two Reborns, or one of the two Reborns, or both Reborns. Um and I shan't be putting them up for a while once uh, once the, I think it's 30 days Etsy. I don't have not put thing, lots of things up on Etsy. So um, so I think it's for 30 days they're up and then, and then they're taken. Then I'll take them down. Um, and then I won't be putting them up for a while. Uh, I think most probably... Most probably earliest after Easter, something like that, if they're not sold by then. Um, I have some of my patterns, my downloadable sock patterns and hat pattern, also on Etsy, although they're also on Ravelry. Um, so go have a look and see if anything takes your fancy. I have in the pipeline, I'm going to do some rainbow looming. I'm going to do, I have another idea in my head for knit looming. And I have quite a few more projects in mind for crochet and for knitting. Please comment if you would like to have some more tutorials on that side as well. There's so much up on YouTube now. I'm not quite sure whether it's worth putting up something else on YouTube. Um, on, on, tutorial, on the tutorial side of knitting and crochet. And if yes, what you would like to see, please do comment. 
Um, and for those that are interested in stuff that I did way back, is I will do another video. I have another video in plan for the hair care routine, and that is with how I grew my hair this long within a short period of time. And as if, it, if and people who know that once you're over 40 and the wrong end of 40, growing your hair from short to long isn't that easy. So how I did it and what I used to do to do that. And it's all natural stuff. So I'm thinking of doing one of those again. And... Yeah, maybe you're interested in that. I don't know. I'll just keep it switched up as I go along. And if it's a subject that doesn't interest you, well, then don't watch it. And if it is, I put it all into the files anyway. Folders. What are they called? I can't think. Maya, what's wrong with your head? You know, the, in the library, all the... What's it called? Yeah, the subject anyway, you know what I mean. Um, so I'll put them all filed into the appropriate spaces so you don't have to waste time. If you want to look at something that is older or you don't have to search for that long going through all the videos. <sighs> yeah, there's nothing else to say. The dogs have had a lovely time. They love the cold weather. They love it when it's cold. I don't, mind, I don't mind the cold either, as long as it's crisp and not wet. But now we have wet weather, which just brings a whole lot of dirt into the house. I'm so glad I did have the downstairs shower put in. Um, <laughs> even though I've not had warm water lately, I've had to do everything, as I said, boiled. Even the dogs with boiled water make it cold enough for them. Um, and as in the right temperature for them to get their paws and bellies washed and so on. But I can't wait to have a proper shower again um, with really warm water that lasts more than a few seconds. Anyway, that is it for today. Can't wait. I'm keeping it short because I'm, ex as I say, I've got one ear listening out for... The man, <laughs> the boiler man. <laughs> I've waited so long, but now I it can't wait any longer. So what else am I going to do today? Uh, I've still got presents to wrap up for the children. And um, now she is thirsty. She's going oomph, oomph. She wants let is your dog as fussy as mine as well? She only likes drinking the pond water or water that has been stood in in a pot outside for a while. Or best yet, if she can just hang her head into a, um, one of the planting troughs with soil in it, even if it's old soil, she likes that water best. Well, Anyway, I better be going. Otherwise, there's not going to be any peace and quiet. So thank you for watching me. Thank you for coming back if you're a returning viewer. Thank you for subscribing if you're a new one. I hope I didn't bore the pants off you today. Uh, I promise it'll get better, but I'd rather say something than nothing for a long time. So I'll love you and leave you. Bye-bye.